Hey, this is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team and in this Cinema 4D Quick Tip I want to show you how you can move animated objects inside of the hierarchy here so that you don't mess up the animation. And let me explain a few things to you. If I select the ball, you can see that the position and rotation parameters are animated. But what are they actually referring to? The ball doesn't have any parent object, so the reference coordinate system is the world coordinate system, with the origin being the reference point for these values here. And when I want to move this object into the hierarchy of the track null, for example, you can see that the track null's position and rotation is this one. So it has the same rotation as the world coordinate system, but it is slightly offset. You can also see that here. Now, as soon as I make the ball apparent of the track null, you can see that the animation path moved to the side here. Let me move up the camera here and press play. Now you can also see that the ball is not rolling in the track anymore, but next to it. All right, now let's move the ball back so that it doesn't have a parent anymore and press play so you can see that the animation is correct again. But how can we move that object in the hierarchy so that the animation will still be intact after the move? Let me show you. All you need to do is you need to select the animated object that you want to move in the hierarchy and then you go to the object menu in the object manager and down to set parent. And once you did that you can see that the cursor changed and that we can now pick any object from the hierarchy here. So let's pick the track object and now you can see that the ball is a child of the track null, but if we press play, you can see that the animation is still intact. And this is exactly what we want. But if we want to move the ball back to its original position here in the hierarchy, we can always go to Object and then choose Unparent. This will bring it back here. However, parenting the ball to the track null has an advantage. So let's do this again. Let me set the parent. And let me also make the track 90 and track up visible. So now you can see that I have multiple tracks in this scene. And as soon as I make the ball a child of the other tracks, you can see that it's perfectly fitting and rolling along that track. Also, let me move it to track up and then it will do just that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.